there's a lot of functionality within Office 365. Everything from Excel, Word, OneDrive, Mail, SharePoint, and so much more. We have taken the content that Microsoft produces, the training content that they produce for end users, and we have made it available contextually. What that means is that when you are in OneDrive, for example, and uh, you click on our tab, which is Visual SP Need Help tab, always there at the bottom right, you will see all the content that's available from Microsoft for that scope. So for example, uploading files. Let me click on that and it shows you information about how to upload files. Click on Share and Sync, Sync OneDrive files and folders. Here we go. Videos, textual content, images, whatever's available, we've made it available directly in context to the environment. There's no charge for it and it is updated on a weekly basis. Let me go to a few other scopes as well. For example, Word. Here you go. Adding a border to a page. There it is. Changing margins. Information about that. So all this content is available as you go from one app to another. It's always there. The Need Help tab at the bottom right. Teams, OneNote, etc. One thing also to keep in mind is that when you're going through these different things and let's say if you don't find something that you're looking for because it doesn't belong in this scope, you can go ahead and search for it. So for example, Teams. I don't find any Teams content here because I'm in OneNote. So I search the full library of help items and that should give me all the Teams specific content. For example, adding tabs to Teams. Here it is. I can also change scopes here as well from showing all to a specific scope. In this case, if I did a search for Words Teams, here it is. Click that. Now it only shows me content sorted out by just Teams. Okay. It is very easy to get this functionality to um, get it installed, get it activated, and get it going. All you got to do is go to Google, Bing, whichever, and type in Visual SP plugin. When you do that, the first thing that's going to re be returned is the plugin page. You go there, you download it for your browser, whichever browser it is, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Edge, etc. Once you have that, you activate it, and that's it. It's going to work. So that's all you have to do. Let us know if you have any feedback.